What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee and this is the Optimistic Network. Today we're making beets dumpling. Yes, I said beets as in beetroot. So we're making beetroot fry dumpling. Let's jump straight in by creating a mixture that we would make if we're making a regular fry dumpling. So some flour, cornmeal, baking powder, a little salt and just mix that together thoroughly. So this was about two cups of flour, one third cups of cornmeal, two tablespoons of baking powder. And where salt is concerned, I like to leave that up to you. So you add your amount of salt to taste. You know your preference. This was about three quarter cups of beetroot. It came from a can. I bought a can and I used some and had this left over. But you can also use your fresh beetroot. Just boil it for about 15 minutes or probably 10 minutes. Boil it up and let it cool a little. I added half a can of coconut milk. Then I used about three tablespoons of water to rinse the can out and added it to it. So three quarter cups of beets, half can of coconut milk and about three tablespoons of water. And I used that to make my dough. Blend it until it's smooth. So if you add the blended mixture to your flour mixture and it still needs a little more water, just add a little more water to your cup, to your blending cup, shake it up to get out all the residue and use it in there. And you're looking for this exact consistency that you see me have here. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too soft where it's sticking. It just has to be the perfect soft, but I don't want to even use soft, but the perfect consistency is this that you saw me here. I made sure to zoom in so you could see it. After you combine everything to create a dough, you just want to rest this. And by resting it, you just cover it with a tablecloth and leave it to sit for about 10-15 minutes. You can sit it longer if you want, but 10-15 minutes is enough. Then all you have to do after that is give it another knead for about a minute or two and you'll get this smooth dough. Now you can pick off small pieces and fry a dumpling like regular Jamaican fry dumpling. That is okay. But I don't like the belly in them. I always tell you guys I hate the, the fluff in it, the belly. So I rolled this out and used a little container to cut out them in small circles. And then I fry it that way. That way I get hollow inside. But if you don't like the hollow inside, you don't have to fry it like that. So I did it just the way you saw me doing it or you see me doing it right here right now. So this is just a regular container I got from the dollar store and it's very easy to cut it out. Once you roll it out with a rolling pin, you just put the container down on it, press it firmly and you can even move your hand on it back and forth and just lift it up. Within a couple of seconds, you cut it out. Put on the stove with some oil of your choice and then you just add them to it after your oil is warm. Don't let your oil get too hot because you don't want them to start burning as soon as you put them in. Now you can cover your pot for a little, but keep an eye on them because remember they're thin, they're not thick, so they cook quick. So about, I would say a couple minutes on one side, a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. Turn it over, turn it over. And I did kind of leave them to fry for about five minutes because I fried for about a minute and a half to two on one side, flip it over, fry about a minute and a half to two on the next side, and then flip it over again and just let it fry for another minute or so. You just fry it until it cooked. And I think this is a great time to let you know that if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn your notification bells on and get active in the comments. Now, once I took them out of the oil, I just added them to a paper towel for them to drain off a little, for a little of the oil to drain off. Also, I know if you're not used to frying dumpling, you may have difficulty to tell whether or not they're cooked. So once you fry on both sides, what you can do is lift up the fried ones and just put some fresh one underneath the bottom. That way the fried ones will stay on top and soak a little. So yeah, after that, I serve this up with some cooked down tin mackerel, well, some tin mackerel fried up with onions, scallion, bell peppers and stuff like that and it was so so good. I opened it and stuffed down the tin mackerel in there and this was really 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 good. This is a great way to eat your beets because beets have great health benefits but I know a lot of people don't like the taste and this way you don't taste it at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in my next upload. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.